Blessed Aka Falcos, this is your Medic Rio. And for today's video, we shall discuss 5 facts about working in the oil and gas drilling field. First on our list, remote locations. Our workplace is far from cities and communities, primarily because of the harm and danger brought by the entire rig and its critical operations. For onshore rigs, you're lucky enough if you get assigned to a rig with a land travel time of less than an hour from cities. Usually, rigs are situated from over 2 hours of travel from the city center. Some even reach a 12-hour or more trip such as the Shaiba oil field. Offshore rigs and platforms can be reached from approximately 30 minutes or more chopper flights. And if via taxi boats, rigs could be reached between 2 hours up to 15 or 18 hours depending on the itinerary of uh, taxi boats. Because sometimes, you get lots of passengers on board and each belongs to different rigs. For Saudi Aramco, we have Rastanura, Safania, Marjan, and Zulu oil fields. I may have missed one or some. Proceeding with number 2, Dangerous Working Industry In this field, it is self-explanatory that we are dealing with oil and gas. In other words, at any time during drilling, gas releases are likely to happen and therefore, precautionary measures such as training and drills are required. Moreover, because of heavy machineries and equipment, noise hazards are present. Simultaneous critical operations from construction, lifting operations, welding jobs, working at heights, chemical mixing, and many more also add up to many accident risks. Third, multinational workplace. When you're in this field, you'll be dealing with over 100 personalities each day. This means that you'll have to make huge adjustments to multiple cultures, foods, behaviors. I can say that the working environment here will really put your anger and stress management skill into a test daily. I have met worst people in this field. On a good note though, you would also meet few inspiring people. Dag! Dalawa dong kasama tayo tapos isa ngayon. Next up, work rotations and shifting. Shifting usually is from 6 in the morning to 6 in the evening or vice versa. And or 12 to 12, midnight to noon or noon to midnight. For work rotations, Saudi workers who hold positions such as rig manager, tool pusher, derrick man, floor man, rouseabouts, some drilling contractors give them a 28-28, 28 days on and 28 days off. For some, 14-14. For other nationalities such as Chinese, Pakistanis, Indians, they are on 5 months, 1 month. 5 months of working and 1 month vacation. For some, 3 months, 1 month. And for others, they're on 11 months to 1 month. Egyptians, Algerians, Sudanese, it varies also. Some 2 months or monthly and some stay longer. For catering companies, their contract is every 2 years. For some worst, they go on vacation after 3 or more years of working. For us medics, our contract is yearly. Every three months, we are given 10 days off. 
you have the option to go and tour around the city or if you decide to go to your country, you have to purchase your own ticket plus other expenses such as visa payments and others. In my case, I had already conditioned myself based on my previous experiences that we have a shortage of relievers. So instead of fighting with our coordinator or person in charge, I choose not to. In this case, the 10 days off you are entitled to is converted into cash. There are lots of service hands or companies working at the rig depending on the operations. Samples of those are Slumberjay, Baker Hughes, NACR or NESR I mean, or Nasser, Sapesco, Almansuri, Gulf Energy and many others. Their rotation also varies from 28 to 28, 3 months of working to 1 month vacation, 3 weeks, 1 week for some nationals. Lastly, the most exciting part, recreational activities and amenities. These also vary in each drilling contractor, but commonly, each rig has its own gym and TV room. Some have indoor sports equipment such as, now on my rig, we have for table tennis. Outdoor, you can do walking at the desert and enjoy the sand, the horizon, and the sunset view. Other workers also play football. They make a homemade net for instance and use flat ground at the main camp or at any area they can use as playground at least. For offshore, aside from treadmill in the gym, we use helideck for walking or running exercises. Other than this, of course, each worker has his own personal ways of managing their stress and in general managing their day-to-day -day living. Thank you for watching. Adios and be safe.